Hello everybody, welcome to the FTOG server, Avant 3, Toddy the Body here, and it is always about nighttime, just as I'm getting ready to record, so there we go, no more nighttime. Alright, so I log on today, and I see this here, actually, I log on last night after work and I saw this here, and I want to come and take a look at it and everything. I didn't see this crate before, but I was like, looking at his stuff, it's a, uh resource miner that Grack had built and then this morning for me this morning a video came out talking about it and I'm sold I want it I want it bad look at all the stuff he's got this is right this is the prize right here but uh yeah can't I think he uh I think he's gonna do something with that and I can't wait so that maybe I can get some hand my hands on some of that mica okay so what what, what are we here for today Last time, we made that standing stone and uh, figured out that we could burn ourselves with it. And I think that I want to do a little bit something else with the ritual mod just because, I don't know, I, I hate to like do a whole thing with a mod and then like turns out I, it doesn't work the way that I expected it to or, you know, something like that. It's not, it's not good karma, right? Okay, so let's get our chisel put away, and I've been hunting bats, so I can get uh, something that I'll show you a little bit later on. And uh, I've been upgrading... Oh, I also made this obsidian sword. Um, I just kept uh, enchanting it, and then disenchanting it, and enchanting it until I got some of the things that I wanted. Alright, the magic boomerang. I was doing the same thing too, and I've got some cool enchants on it. Uh, I can't find anywhere on what these enchants do... So I had to go do some testing. The Zoomerang, I don't know if I talked about the enchant. I know I talked about the Boomerang before, but I don't know about the enchant. So the Zoomerang, it makes it so that it flies faster, soulbound. You know what that is? Blade Ring 5, that seems to be like a sharpness. You know, it adds to damage. And then the Burner Ring um, sets things on fire. But one good thing about it is that it doesn't cook if it's like cookable if it's a cookable drop like if you hit a cow with it you don't get the uh, steak back you get the raw stuff back all right and then so anyways uh we're up here for roots what i want to do is i want to make some of those growth stones and uh i think what you can do is that you can reuse the incense as long as you like do it right away did that go in there and did go in there Okay, and then get this here. So I wonder how fast you actually have to be. I brought everything I needed just in case I have to do it some more. I need to make three more of these growth growth standing stones. Uh, I made some already. Okay, let's get this out of here. This out of here. Let's get the flint and steel so we can turn on the mag magic smoke. Okay. And then we'll uh, put them down at the garden and see see how they go. So let's see. One, two, three, and four. And then you got to hit it with a, with an empty hand. Now I was watching somebody else's video. And uh, they have continuous particles going into there. So I wonder what my problem is. All right. So we got one. Let's get, keep this party rolling. We'll get that. And see, there it is. So the green stuff, it's supposed to make plants grow a lot faster. So we'll test that out. All right, there's another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there. Nice. So we don't need our other supplies. Let me just go ahead and pick this up. Put the flint away. Okay. And we don't want the igniting one. There we go. Nice. So three. Okay, go back down to our base. Head over here. I tried putting it up on top of the here. Um, it doesn't seem, it, if it is working, I can't tell because things are going a lot slower compared to what it was. Uh, Elpec nerfed the glass. It was going super fast before, so. You know, I'm not complaining about it. It, it was like stupid fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these on the outsides here. This one, because there's no glass, we'll put it a little bit further in. Maybe it'll get a better reach. Because uh -huh. I don't want to actually put them down where any crop space is. And where'd you go? There we go. And then right here. And then let's see if that does anything. Is it 
visibly noticeable because I set it overnight um, and this is all I've got usually like everything would be uh, like all the spots would be filled and multiple sex pages here all my hose will be used up but no so you know it's it's a heck of a lot slower now I did some exploring and I found this tree don't know if I'll use it yet but I plan it just to see what it looks like okay so let's see here it looks like the standing stones don't um, do the green particles but maybe it's working a little bit better I don't know maybe but what I wanted I wanted this experience stuff because while I was enchanting my sword and boomerang I kept running out of experience so I want to fix that uh, what you needed was for the experience sprout you need you need to make the sprout former and the sprout former takes all these things and a bottle of enchanting so then I was like hey I'm just gonna make that super crafting table and this is this is really cool like you shift right click it and it just takes all your experience out and then it gives you stuff but guess what it's not the right type of bottle of enchanting it's totally different so it doesn't work so I was like darn all right so what am I gonna do now now I have to go and I have to find maybe a villager to to get that uh, thing cuz let's see here if we go how to make it all right you need a cleric and then trade with him and you get the bottle of enchanting so I was like all right so that's how we're going to to get it so I had to go way over there and and when we finally get here there is a village and inside this village let's get off our broom and turn off our ring there are a couple villagers that I found so I found the cleric but I also found another very special guy that I want to make sure and grab so I think they only spawn one at the most per village most of the time you don't get one but if you get one there's only going to be one I don't want them to die where are they oh here's one here's one there he is this is a werewolf look at him. look at his brow that's how you can tell and then what you can do is you can click on them and you can sell dark gems for emeralds there you go buddy that's for you all right stop doing that thank you come here so we have got one werewolf even though it says it's a farmer it's a werewolf trust me okay so the cleric where did you go he was over here he was over here I also saw a ninja villager and he had a pretty rad pickaxe on him and I fell for it I bought it and then when you like go to use it they uh they have um, it it's like a fake and then he disappears he gets an invisible potion and he runs off so like even a bigger dummy are you in one of these buildings like a bigger dummy I he was in water and I could see there he is I could see where he was at because of the bubbles and I bought another one and then he ran off again but then he like hopped up on the land and then whoops how did that work oh you can just, you know how you can use uh, stairs as chairs stairs as chairs well don't you go anywhere I want there we go oh let me go get uh, the uh, coordinates for the end portal for link and then I'll meet up with you at um, at the base okay okay I'm back from uh, sharing some coordinates so if you're playing on our seed and uh, you haven't found the end portal it's right here those are the coordinates right there negative 1689 negative 118 all right we're back so uh, I was just coming to check on the farm and it looks like it is doing a little better you can actually see it growing now which is really nice uh, let's head over I am but these things <laughs> all this growing now is like causing some frame issues for me you might be laughing because it's up there in the corner it says what 195 200 okay maybe I'm spoiled now and it filled up just a little bit like seriously we've been recording here like maybe 15 minutes I guess 20 minutes in be you know including the cuts and uh, this is where it's gotten to so not bad I can be satisfied with that 
and uh, let's get rid of this tree here because even though it's different, you know, a little, a little something else, it's giving me a headache. All right. All gone. All is good in the world. Come back in here. There we go. Okay. Let's check the mailbox, see if we've got anything. Nope, no mail. Nobody loves us. And I think I want to head to spawn now. And uh, my little teleporter thing, it doesn't work for spawn. So we have to do it this way. Spawn. Right here. So I've been working some more on the spawn hub. I still haven't moved my stuff in here. I thought Grok had moved his in. I guess he made a duplicate and not like a, just moving it over. We showed that off last time. So I've been getting more into chisels and bits. It is a curse, the curse of chisels and bits. I didn't like how it was just a, the plain hardened clay all the way through. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit. So I put in that roof stuff in here, the tiles. And then I threw in the FTOG, just like that. And then now we have, oh, we, we did the door out front. Oh, I put on a roof. Okay. Let's come look at this. We've got the FTOG symbol here. Not so much the thing in the middle, but the colors really. I just put that in the middle so that, I don't know, so it tied together. And we built a balcony. This is actually kind of fun to build. Uh, I started using the this uh, chisel design thing more like instead of like okay over here when I was trying to do this do this instead of doing like half and then just copying the rest you know I, I tried to do it like all in one piece and it didn't come out too straight you can kind of see the imperfections of the circle it's not super straight uh, but then over here I did one side and then I copied it and then I did the other and made it like so much simpler so and then we've got a balcony. Uh, the reason that I have this up here, besides aesthetic reasons, is that before, when you were in here, the only way in and out of this room was this door. And as I was saying in the last video, uh, I wanted to have like multiple ways, like you can move about. And I just saw in uh, Nimsung's video that uh, Mistaken has these uh, Ender IO painted with glass. Uh, pressure plates I think I might want that to go with, along with that so yeah I will do that so uh, in doing the balcony that's where I was like hey that works because if I left it white then if I look at it from this direction it would blend in you can't see the balcony I mean you could see it but like it blended in but then if I did the uh, regular hardened clay it would blend in with the floor so I think I was even though I was trying to keep the tiles for the roof, uh, I think it looks nice. I you know, it throws some contrast in there or, or some differences. So, like over here, you can't see that there's a step right here. But I don't know. I'm at this point. I think uh, the hardened clay on this part had grown on me. But I decided to take this down and replace it and. Uh, like we saw over here, the same thing over here. So I really like how that FTOG thing turned out. Oh, and also over here, um, I didn't have to do this twice. I used that design piece of paper, chisel design thing, and I copied it over. So it made it real easy to do. All right, so those bat wings that you saw in my inventory, uh, actually I showed you these, but I was hunting bats to get the reliquary ones so that I can get the interdiction torches. Um, that, uh, standing stone that we tried last time, you know, it was a bust. It doesn't work. So I made these and what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to keep mobs out. Now it's daytime, so we're not going to be able to see it unless there's a zombie over here with a helmet on. Uh, must be underground. Is there a cave here? No, nah, must be underground. Okay. So they can't pass them and I put them on both sides just because I didn't like the look of one. And they get to about here, so I guess it has a range of, what, three blocks out-ish? So, I've had where I was working inside here, and I would look out, and I would just see, like, three creepers and one zombie staring at me. Just saying, let me in, and I'm like, not on the hair of my chinny-chin. Chin. Okay, anyways. 
So I have that there. Uh, you make four at a time. So I went ahead and put some here. The reason being is that if I wanted to AFK or or log out or something right here, then maybe if they spawned up on top, then they wouldn't be able to fall down inside there. So I, I kind of wonder if like if you drop a zombie onto a uh, interdiction torch. Am I saying that right? Interdiction. Yep, torch field. Will it drop through, or will it like kind of bounce around and float, and then like kind of fall off to the side, or what? I don't know. But I put them here just in case I wanted to like sit here for a while. Cause sometimes I don't like the look of like going up in the air and then going AFK while you're floating in the air. I don't know. I, I just think it it feels weird to me. So that's what I do. All right. So talking about mob spawning on the top here, let's go into F7 mode. And it's getting to be nighttime, so if nobody sleeps, maybe we'll get a chance to lure a mob over and see how the torches work. F7 mode. So I do have some spawnable spaces up here. I, you know, I plan on doing some more with these blocks, so I didn't change them or anything like that yet. But as you can see, I don't have any more spawnable spaces on my roof. And let me tell you about this. Let's see if I've got some. I do have some supplies. We'll take that. We will take this here. Okay, we'll take 21, whatever. And we'll go out here. Maybe we will attract some mobs. All right, so naturally what you would want to do, like say, I think, all right, so this is a top slab. This is a bottom slab. This is a top slab. On top slabs, you would get that X to say that that's a spawnable space. Bottom slabs, you don't. So you would naturally want to put the torch or something on the top slab, right? And I mean, that's where torches can be placed. You can't place them on the bottom slab. So I'm sitting here thinking, man, how am I going to light this up? Am I just going to have to not light it up because I don't want to use torches all over the place? Uh, when you try, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, creeper. Let's show it off. See, that's what they do. That's all the further you can go. So he just kind of, it looks at me walking, just bumping his head. And uh, it's kind of nice because even like the spiders, since this is an open path, I guess it looks like to them, they path fine through here so they don't crawl up over my wall. I mean, occasionally they do, like if they get stuck on a wall, but not always. So we'll take that and get it out of our inventory for now. And now that we've done that, let's just go ahead and sleep. Hey! We got stuck. I thought this was solved. Uh, okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back in. Yeah, I, I seriously thought that was solved. So what were we talking about here? We're talking about the top slab. See, the top slab has an X on it. Bottom slab doesn't. If you try to do this torch thing, you can't make a top slab. It only does the bottom slab. I mean, it's cool that you can make a bottom slab. That's really awesome. But, uh... Yeah, so just in case you are, I think you get the point already is what I'm getting at here, is that what I did, there we go, what I did, naturally you would want to do all the top slabs because that's where you'll see the X's, but if you do the bottom slabs, if you light those up, let's see if I can find one here. Uh, no, I put some on this side. Maybe not. There's one. Yeah. You can do the bottom slab. And then it'll just kind of carry over to the top and light that up. So that's why we don't have spawnable spaces on our roof anymore. Um, yeah. So that's where that's at. I really don't know where we are in time on the video. So I don't know. This will either be a long one or a short one. But what I wanted to at least do with you. Because I feel kind of bad about not uh, getting or not doing too much building with you all getting everything in order here I think I would like to at least try to make a window probably do like a window or two here just to fill it in or a design yeah that's what I also wanted to do. yeah I want to do a uh, like a use the black anti anti block that's what these lines are here it's not like I was like oh it would look cool if those lines are in there the anti-block has a, I guess they're connected textures, 
but when you use the chisels and bits then you see the line on the outside so oh well I mean it is what it is maybe it adds a little uh, flavor to it or something but uh yeah I think I'd like to get some of the black anti-block and make a I don't know a flowery design not like a flower but you know almost like a tribal design like when people get those tribal tattoos but not so sharp cornery like more of a circle like it flows through or something uh, I'm not an artist so it's something that I might have to try and fail and then maybe eventually get what I'm doing here is I'm trying to gauge out what would be a good spot for a window because I don't want it to be up against the roof and I don't want it to be up against that so I think and that's too close to the lamp so I think that's out of the question right there and I was hoping to do like two on this side but I don't think that's gonna happen and if I do it right here that's the floor right well I guess there's one way to find out let's just pop this open let's go look on the inside where that's actually at would that be a good yeah that'd be a good spot for a window yeah that'd be all right and then we'll do this one here all right so I want a window that looks sort of like the door where it's like the bottom part here is flattish but then up here we've got the uh, we'll have an arc and I'll show you my method of how I've been doing this yeah that'd be too big so let's go like this what I've been doing is uh, you cut out the bulk pieces right And we'll have to line this up or something because I don't like how you look through and you see more bone. Uh, so we'll have to make it so that you can actually see what's going on. All right, and then once you got the big piece, then you got to take, you know, kind of start to round it out, but use what tools you have to make it easier on you. Okay, I'll probably do this one too. Great. And as I play with this chisels and bits more and more, it, you start to become more familiar with it. It still takes so long to do. Like I feel like, I feel like I almost. Well, I don't know what a sculptor feels like, but you know, because this is the this is a bigger block. Say if we got the the bit, like I am sitting here in some places, like just, or you know, just doing stuff and. <laughs> It takes a bit like we are actually going to do that right here now let's go to line and then we are going to start guessing and if we do more than we should then we'll have to go back oh and I found out there's like a redo button did I show it to you last time like if you didn't like taking that out see so that saved me a lot because I was sitting there putting stuff back and taking it out see now that side looks pretty good right so I think we've got something here. One, two, three is what I did. Look, that's a nice looking window, right? I like it. All right, so let's uh, decorate it up a little bit. Uh, we want to get rid of that. Let's get one of these. And I think just to go with how everything else is looking, let's do the draw region. We can also do one of these if we want it to. Yeah, that, that's a ton easier. Okay, and then we're done with that. No space in there. Space in here. And we'll get the tile. And then do the plane. Right there. Right there. And uh, da, 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 da. focus. I think it's still trying to do the plane. If I did this, will it... You know what I think I can do? Because it doesn't replace blocks. Yeah. No, no, no. See, now we need to do undo. So it went down too far. Okay, we'll have to get out our trusty draw region function. And there we go. And there we go. And so this will make the window actually a little smaller, but sometimes you've got to do that to make it look better don't want it to blend that and then we'll get yeah that's the one that messed up on me 
and then we'll get that as the oh and we ran out okay do I have any more I've got 56 more there we go and what I've been using before was the plane to cut those down real real fast you know to get the bits but now I've been using that big chunk thing thought I had 54 before did I not collect any hmm nope I did there they are so need to grab from here and pull it the rest of the way over and then there we go we've got one window uh, seems like there should be windows right here now but that would look funky because on the outside there's not oh, oh these guys have been collecting their ink sacks look at that marksman okay they didn't drop anything great I want to do something with them what do they make anyways poison bucket that's it well I wonder if that's useful huh maybe you can make a mob experience farm with that or something you know where it gets them down to one health something like that anyway so it looks like you should have more windows uh, but there's not a space for windows yeah because that would have been up against the roof but I guess I could have made that higher I almost wish I would have made that higher I'll have to put something up here for decoration but uh yeah all right so now what I'm getting at is that I want to show you how you can get this over to another section so we'll get all of these things out of the way and then what you do is it's blank right now you can see that I'm going to shift on that or not shift right click on that and then you can see where it's like see that now where else would I want to put a window like I could put it right here yeah that almost looks like a it looks like an okay spot yeah because that would be weird the corner of the window would come to that roof so I like this better so all you do is you right click it and it dig it digs it it cuts it out for you all right so then let's say if I want to do the bottom part then you come over here and you click on that and then there you go so you only have to do it once and I think that, that is super cool I really really like that all right sleepy time again there we go that's not what you didn't get stuck so that would have been real useful to know at the beginning but you know it's a learning process learn as you go oh you can what is that about that didn't carry over oh you can see through it oh that's kind of weird can you see through this one you can't so let's let's see if we can fix it so what we're going to do we have the draw region thing selected right let's cut this piece off if you have the chisel in your inventory you can cut and place with the same block I mean with with the pieces in your hand there it goes that's a lot better and this this side isn't messing up so I wonder if we'll have to repair that again in the future but yeah that's how you copy stuff over and kind of cut down on work um, yeah so like even like these pieces here these are chiseled blocks because they don't come out so far I didn't like how far some of this was sticking out like if I can find an okay over here before I was using the chisels and bits see how far this sticks out I didn't like it so I used the quarter blocks I guess you can say and uh, once I figured out that you can use that uh, design piece of paper thing it made a whole lot easier just to kind of go along and place all of them not have to like chisel out each block but nice now we've got two extra windows um I think I'll save the uh, black anti-block designing for another let's turn that off for maybe the next episode because I feel like when I get going on it it's just gonna take me forever to get a design and uh, you know you got to stick your tongue out to one side so you can get so you can like focus and everything but just that one would I like the addition there I like it over here too I still feel like this is too blank right here and this is too blank and down here but that this 
curve thing is like really really hard to to uh to design anything on it's just it makes it difficult okay anyways i feel like we've probably talked enough if it's short sorry if it's long i apologize too but that's our progress on the spawn hub at this point um i hope you all get into doing some chisel because it is chiseling bits and chisels and bits because it is a a really really awesome mod like a whole bunch of like you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this with this mod and even if you're not going to do the little detail stuff you can like make stairs and slabs and stuff out of out of blocks that you usually can't anyways i'm i'm gonna start rambling on you guys have a great day i'll see you next time and bye bye